We've got some people joining us. Welcome everyone as you're joining us. We'll just um, wait a, a minute or so just to let everyone jump on. Feel free to jump on the chat and introduce yourself if you, if you care to. I'll say hello to everyone. Okay, thanks so much everyone for joining us. My name is Lauren O'Connor and I'm part of the Work 180 team and welcome to our latest community event. And um, so this session is going to be about career reinvent reinvention, how to unleash your potential and unlo unlock paths to professional success. So just quickly, for anyone unfamiliar with Work 180, I might just give you a really quick rundown um, on that first. So our mission is really to empower women um, to make informed choices about their career um, and help them find workplaces that work for them. Um, so we assess employers um, on a range of factors, including things like paid parental leave, um, pay equity, flexible working arrangements, and much more. And then only endorse those that are truly committed to supporting women's careers. Um, so those employers that are featured on our website, along, um, along with um, detailed information about their employee benefit and their policies, to, so you can make really informed decisions about the right employer for you. So if you are looking at applying for a role in the future, feel free to jump on the Work 180 website and check out our, our great uh, list of endorsed employers and what benefits and policies they can offer you. And um, so today we're meeting in our free online community space. And we're going to hear from one of our fantastic career coaches, Deborah Tyson. Um, so please feel free to use the chat box um, to ask Deborah any questions that you might have through the session. I believe she's going to answer those towards the end there. Um, but I really hope you enjoy today's session and I'll pass on to Deborah now. Thank you. Hello, everyone. I'm absolutely delighted to be here to celebrate uh, International Women's Day for 2024. And I could not uh, think of a better topic for International Women's Day. They have a new one every year. And this year it is investing in women. So to balance things out, to make the world more equitable. So that's a topic very close to my own heart. And it's just fantastic that the focus is um, being put in these much needed areas um, during these events. So I have got um, a presentation I'm going to share with you. I don't want it to be death by PowerPoint, but more interactive and experiential. With the questions, it probably is best if you just wait and hold them till the end, because then I can really do a proper deep dive and a really big focus on, on those at the end. So I, um, if we could wait till then, that would be fantastic. I'm going to try to leave plenty of time for questions because I love that part of sessions really customizes it and taylor makes it for the audience so for now um yeah we'll get going i'll just share my screen with you we had a small technical delay leading up to this so i'm sharing it in a little bit of an unusual way um in a bit of a different program but at least it will do the job and uh so just ignore all the little bits and pieces above it and we're focusing on the slides. So today we're here to talk about um, career reinvention. Can you see, can everybody see the whole slide or is it a little bit cut off? I don't know, Lauren, if you can just let me know. Sorry, I didn't realise I'm on mute. Yep, we can see that. Yep, that's fine. You can see the whole slide. It's not cut off or is the logo slightly cut off? Uh, no, I think it's okay. Yeah. Oh, oh, sorry. Only this tiniest bit. Yeah. 
you know, I'll put I'll put it like that. It's just annoying. Yeah, that um, that's better, isn't it? Yeah. Okay. So um, I just believe personally, never has there been a better time to be alive in the history of the earth. Um, this is a time where we're bringing about. There's a massive shift occurring, and it's all about bringing equality, balance, and more harmony into the world. And we are all part and we can play a part in this incredible change. So to give you some idea of my background and why I'm here today, uh, I started off as a passionate business owner at the age of 24. I had my own design business with uh, a team of 26 people in an office in Sydney and Canberra. And that was a true passion of mine. I had that business for 10 years and I sold it. And I, then I was lucky enough to go into another passion, which was healthy fast food. I loved uh, food that gave us lots of energy and I know food has a massive, plays a massive part in how we feel. So I started up that business in Sydney in Mossman and it was like McDonald's, only all healthy. And it was 20 years ago now, actually. So had a lot of the early day superfoods and things like that. And I was really proud of that business. It was very hard. It was a steep learning curve for me, but it was a passion and I that's what got me through. And um, I was able to sell that business after three years. And then I went into another passion of mine, which was to do with healing. Uh, I became a fully qualified kinesiologist. I studied counseling uh, and some psychology, and I love that area. Um, I also have, I had three small children at that time. So I was able to do that while I, I was bringing them up. up. But then I decided to go back to my business roots and focus on, I asked myself the question, what would I do if it was just like breathing for, you know, that was like breathing for me that I would do even if I didn't get paid for it. And that was actually sharing ideas that makes people's lives easier. That was the common thread throughout all the businesses that I did. I would always be a life learner, learning new ideas um, and bringing them back to my teams and it made my businesses very buoyant and we prided ourselves in being learning organisations. So I thought, well, why don't I really just focus on that um, and bring together a community of experts from all over the world that share ideas to really help and support people, particularly when they're stuck or feeling challenged and get back into that flow again. And because I could see all around me, it doesn't, it doesn't matter if people were affluent or uh, poorer, it didn't really matter. People would get stuck with their relationships, with their partners, with their kids. It, it could be um, stress. You know, people could be so uh, wealthy but still be controlled by their mind, worrying about things, obsessing about things, stressing about things. So I knew that there's work to be done, ideas to be shared so that people didn't have to feel that, like that on a daily basis. They could actually live in their natural state of health and happiness. And this is a, a little aside story. During that time, probably when my children were smaller, actually, I educated people at uh, Mossman Community College. I became a teacher there to teach people about conflict resolution because I was so passionate about that. I thought, oh, goodness, people fight and they argue, but if they've got the skills, it can really change the way um, that they engage in their life on a daily basis. And I use share these skills in all my businesses and I knew that they really worked. And I had a, a term, so I had a group of people for a term and then that group was finished and then the next term I had a new group of people and routinely I would ask people, what brought you, what brought you here today? You know, introduce yourself to the group and say while well, you're here. And this one young man stood up and he said, I'm here today because my... Um, wife attended your classes last term and we've got so much out of them that I'd like to learn myself and I, that's just a tiny little story but it still sends shivers up my spine because internally that brought me such joy just to know that I'd helped somebody or made a difference just by sharing ideas that made their lives easier and so that brings me to my hot tip number one I'm going to be sharing tips throughout the um, session and that is that I believe the key to a happy life and even though this sounds so easy and simple it's amazing how we can forget or get distracted but the key to a happy life is really noticing what makes you happy or brings you joy and doing more of that 
that's what got me to do blue spot so uh because sometimes we think oh we have to work hard we have to get up at five o'clock we have to go to the gym and you know do all these various things and not saying all those things aren't important and it's good to look after yourself but sometimes we forget that the keys to happiness is noticing what makes you happy so going forward just when you feel that joy or you feel that sense of happiness really take note of it because it's your body trying to tell you something about yourself and your path and where you should be be where you should be and where you're putting your attention so and throughout that time what i really noticed going forward from my own experience my own personal growth and from observing others is that pain and suffering is not something that we have to live with i could see a different way but for myself i knew for myself that has occurred from developing the tools uh, developing a life toolbox for myself and getting the support when i needed it it's not about struggling alone um, when we're stuck or challenged it's really important to have that um, support so my second hot tip is to get or you probably already got one but keep developing it. it's a lifelong thing get the skills to get you through the challenges don't struggle for long periods on end get that support reach out for help and then you'll get back into the flow we all have challenges we all have stresses that are going to take us away from us our peace on a daily basis but when we have these tools and we know what to do um, we can get back into that flow quicker and it becomes easier with practice so i've talked about bliss spot a little bit already and as i said we have export from all around the world that share my mission of making people's lives easier through education. Uh, Nelson Mandela said that education is the most powerful weapon that we have on the planet and I totally believe that. Like I really believe that the word is far more mightier than the sword. So um, with Blissbot, what we do is we share ideas that are experiential and can be implemented straight away into your life so you can start to feel those shifts and changes and uh, you can feel that positive difference. This, as we know as well, life can be a roller coaster with full of unexpected challenges such as um, with businesses downsizing, um, pandemics, um, illnesses and challenging situations such as losing a job. We don't really know what is around the corner for us. And in those situations, and I'm sure we've, I've certainly experienced many challenges in my life, as I believe we all do, but the best thing we can do in those moments is actually accept the challenge accept what is happening to us um, because when we resist something it persists we we keep it there it stays front of mind and by accepting something i don't mean just going oh well, that's okay i lost my job i should you know just put on a brave face and get through it i'm not saying that we should accept how we are in the moment every moment so if we feel sad if we feel hurt if we feel angry or if we feel disappointed when we accept and process those emotions, they flow through our body and we maintain good health when we do that. But it's when we repress them or hold them down, think we shouldn't feel that way, because we've usually got pretty good reason to feel the way that we feel. That's when illness can occur over time because we're holding those emotions in our body and they stay stuck and they and they sort of fester and become larger and larger until there's an illness and then we really take notice of what's going on for us um, the other thing is too with emotions if we hold them down for long periods of time or if we've had a trauma that we've never really processed or healed we become triggered by things more easily that and i think you know what we mean by being triggered it's when you have a reaction that's disproportionate to the event we're not going to really talk about that today because we could do a whole session in that just in itself but it's just being aware of your triggers so while we can't um uh, go into healing triggers and things today i am going to give you some tools to help you or a tool this is our third hot tip to help you get through those challenging situations 
Um, and this tool is one of my most favorite tools. It's free, it's available to everybody. Everybody can do it. And I use this tool myself and I've had incredible success with it. It's a, a breathing technique based on uh, pranayama, which most of you who do yoga, I'm sure would be familiar with. And Dr. Andrew Wheel, um, who made this technique widely popular in the West, refers to it as a natural tranquilizer for the nervous system. So in this modern day, people's nervous system are so stressed that it's unhealthy. It's an, a massive, massive problem. Yet if we can learn to help and support our own nervous system on a daily basis, that that really um, underpins success in other areas of our life. Because when we're stressed or tense, we just don't have the capacity that we can we would normally have to deal with things. So this technique, which I'm going to share with you in a moment, it helps you to relax when you feel stressed or anxious. It helps you deal with the hormone of cortisol, which is that stress response and puts us into that fight or flight where we often can say or do things that we're not happy with or not proud of later or um, exacerbate situations. And if we have a lot of cortisol in our body on a long-term basis, it's really um, detrimental to our long-term health. This uh, technique really helps to improve your sleep. You can just do it when you're laying in bed at night and uh, that will help you. It helps your concentration and focus. It helps you to have less pain in your body if that's one of the um, issues that you, you have. And it also releases toxins and it shifts up your energy. So uh, we're going to have a go at it now. So I'd just like everybody to just relax, feel your feet nice and firmly on the ground. Relax your shoulders. And we're going to do this, um, we're going to do four rounds of it. So I'll talk you through the first two and then you can do the last two on your own. It only takes uh, less than a minute. So, so what we do is we breathe in through our nose for the count of four. So one, two, three, four. Hold your breath for six, two, three, four, five, six, and breathe out through your mouth with a whoosh sound for the count of eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Breathing in for four through your nose. One, two, three, four. Holding for seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven out through your mouth for a count of eight with a whoosh sound so three four five six seven eight just doing two more rounds breathing in four holding for seven breathing out for eight When you're ready, just gently opening your eyes and coming back into the room. Does anybody have any feedback or anything they'd like to pop in the chat about that technique? Um, we, it's best to only do it twice a day. Um, sometimes when we use it, learning a new technique, we can become really enthusiastic and do it a lot, thinking it will make it, it better, but that's not so. Twice a day is more than enough. And do it for two or three weeks and see how you go. Just twice a day, four rounds twice a day. And then um, you can build it up to eight rounds over time. So it's breathing in for four, holding for seven. I'm sorry, on the first one I did six, it should have been seven, and then breathing out for eight. Okay. 
And over time, you should really notice a difference in your body and um, how you feel. I certainly have for myself. Okay, so moving on. When we have all these challenges, sometimes we can't see why it's happening to us. You know, we know we're good people. We know we try to do the right thing. And yet these unexpected events occur that can have a real impact on our life and our body and how we feel and how we relate to people. But what I found is that everything truly does happen for a reason, even if we cannot see it at the time. And I refer to this as a gift in strange wrapping paper. Even though it might not be what we expected or what we wanted, life's events and challenges are here to help us um, grow and evolve and to teach us things and can take us one step close, closer to our um, true purpose. And what I found myself is that um, we'll use the example of a career transition as a life challenge that where one door shuts, another generally opens. And um, it can lead to more adventures or journeys that were better than we ever imagined. I'm sure that we all know people who've been retrenched or things happened to them that they weren't expecting or didn't want, but then they were taken on this whole new path. They changed career, they started their own business. They did something that was really much more them anyway. It sort of shook them up and got them into a new uh, place, a new way of being, which actually was better for them. So when a career transition happens, for example, often it can be a calling for us to really dig deep and find out what it is that is our true purpose. And Every single person on the planet has a true purpose, but it's up to them to find it and then to align themselves with it. Often we know or we have a sense of it, but things like fear or uh, what, fear worrying about money, which I'm not saying that's not a valid concern, but sometimes it can, we'll have these ideas in our head that will take us away from where we really want to go, whereas life will often be directing you back to where you really need to go even though you can't see it at the time but later on it will make sense so when it comes to our purpose the clues are as we've talked about already it's what you love to do what makes you really happy it gives you joy what makes your heart sing and if you can't find, if you don't know, which is fine because um, often it is very deep for various reasons, but if you don't know what your true purpose is, there are loads and loads of resources out there that um, can help you find it. And at Blissbot, we actually have a 28-day program for people in career crisis that can help them work out what their true purpose is. It's got lots of beautiful meditations and tools and workbooks and handouts that can really help you identify what you're here on this planet to do. And along the way, um, when we're working with these challenges, it can be a wake up call to us that we need to evolve and grow, that we actually need to learn to speak up for ourselves more. We need to be more assertive, or maybe it's that we need to listen more. Um, and this brings me to my hot tip number four, Life is always giving you clues for your growth and development and your body is an incredible tool that helps keep you on track. Um, but it's up to us to listen to it, not to ignore it. And over life, over the course of our life, what we're destined to do is to grow from a tiny acorn into a beautiful oak tree. And if you are lost or on the wrong track on that journey, life will always give you those clues to redirect you and to get you back on the right path. So my hot tip number five is to create spaces of stillness in your life. Those down times when you're doing nothing, when you're sitting on a chair or sitting in a park, they are not wasted. It's your body uh, it's giving your body a chance to come forward in the form of your intuition and to guide you on a path that's perfectly right for you. We all have that beautiful, wise 
um, voice within it's nature's gift to us but it's developing the skills it's just like riding a bike creating the space and the time to hear that intuition to let it bubble up to listen to it and then the most important thing is to actually take action on it because we can all think of those times in our life where we knew it, we knew it was the right thing, but we ignored it, we overwrote wrote it. So I really uh, focus on when my intuition is telling me something, I listen to it and then I act on it. And when you are, have made a career transition and you're on the right career path for you, you will absolutely know it because you will love it. You will absolutely love your job. It will be in your energy, in everything that you do. It's magnetic and it draws people to you. And when you're living your true passion or your true purpose in a career that you absolutely love, you will have tough and challenging times. That's inevitable. It's not like that you don't get to have those. And those tough and challenging times may be for moments, days, weeks or months. But the thing is you will have the true passion to get you through it, that grit and that determination um, because you know, you have this deep knowing that you are on the right path for you. And when you are living your purpose and you really enjoy your work, promotions and career advancement and opportunities, they're not hard. It's not something you have to strive and struggle for as much because it's like the natural next step. You're already loving the job. Uh, it's more like play for you. It's not like work. And so then those opportunities are more likely to come your way. And also, too, when you're working in the right jobs for you, when you're aligned with your true purpose, it's easier to create te um, teams because you uh, they're drawn to your energy and they want to contribute and be part of your vision as well. And you may have, like me, seem to have had many disparate careers leading up to your true passion, but they are all part of the journey that build character and skills and leading um, that are leading you to your life's purpose and to be able to do that true work with meaning and fulfilment. So in my experience, nothing is more meaningful meaningful or fulfilling than being of service to others and making a true difference in their life and i'm not talking about here when i'm saying being of service to others i don't mean being a doormat or a martyr or not even necessarily doing charity work although that obviously is fantastic and a good thing too but i'm talking about using your gifts and talents to make the world a better place and that can be through paid work charity work or some of both so just have a little think about what skills or talents do you have right now that could be of service to others and you really enjoy the work? Are you a good leader? Are you a natural at science or maths? Are you a great communicator? Are you a wonderful marketer or um, good at doing social media, which you can contribute to um, projects and businesses that you're really passionate about it? And I think, as we spoke about at the beginning, that this is a time in history where women are rising up to contribute their much needed talents, which are here to bring balance to the world. As we can see now, there's a lot of trauma in the world, the war, um, people being sick, uh, so much instability, and there's a lot of heavy male dominated energy in this world. And that is not a bad thing. We need obviously male energy, but we want to be in balance like the yin and the yang. And this is a time for women to rise up and contribute and to um, contribute their beautiful feminine qualities to restore that balance to the world. It's our beautiful empathy, compassion and insights that are needed more than ever and especially in the workplace. So this statistic here, um, or this fact, was actually quite shocking to me when I first came across it, that the world's uh, eight richest individuals have as much wealth as the th um, three six point billion people who make up the poorest half of the world. 
That is a totally shocking statistics. Uh, it's just so imbalanced. And those eight individuals are all men. There's not a single woman amongst them. And I really think if women were in charge, it wouldn't be like that anyway, because I don't think we think like that. We, when, we wouldn't be, if we're in charge, I don't think we'd be thinking of the space race or getting to Mars first. I think we'd be thinking about how do we make the world a better place for all? How do we solve hunger in Africa? Not saying that um, lots of rich men are putting their focus on that as well, so I'm not um, minimising that, but I just think we think differently and that's why it is a time to invest in women, to really get behind women and to take this movement forward to bring that um, balance that's so needed. But we have to start our journey with the single step and we firstly need to invest in ourselves, to believe in ourselves, to know ourselves, to know our thoughts and emotions, to know our triggers, to know what our gifts and talents are. And the more we know ourselves, the more conscious we can be and the more conscious choices we can make, which is exactly what's needed right now for the world's ongoing sustainability and survival. Another one of my, this is um, a beautiful quote from, or it's really sums up An Anita Roddick who ran the Body Shop philosophy. It's absolutely beautiful and it's something that's really influenced me throughout my entire business career. And she said that she runs her company or she ran her companies according to the feminine principles of caring, making intuitive decisions, not getting hung up in hierarchy can be such a waste of time, but about work being part of your life, not separate to it, putting your labour where your love is and being responsible to the world in how profit is used. Somebody saw a cat's tail just then. My cat's just joined me sitting right next to me now. So, um, I mean, this really, in my opinion, says it all and what we have and what we can bring and what we can contribute to the world and the way that women see things. And I'm delighted to say that this is truly the dawning of a new age. Um, it's the age of Aquarius for people who um, know a little bit about the different ages and times that we're in. Uh, I have a personal vision myself that to my grandchildren one day I can say, I don't have any at the moment, but one day when I do, that do you know that at the start of this century that people used to suffer from stress? And people go, really? Because... Stress is not a condition. Stress and overwhelm, pain and suffering is not something that we have to live with. We can develop the tools to go beyond our thoughts and emotions and live in our natural state of peace and harmony. And we all have this part to play in creating a peaceful, harmonious and equitable world. And we are good at this. This comes naturally to us because we naturally tend to think of the good of the whole. That's just the way that we operate. And we are powerful. We're all powerful as a single human being. And we're all powerful as women. So my next hot tip or exercise is to come up with three words for yourself. Um, just think of it now. You can write them down. Just think of three words don't think about it too much. Just let the words, whatever pops up is usually the right thing first. Think of three words. And we're doing this because where focus goes, energy flows. So we can focus on our past and all the things that go wrong or what we're not good at. And it's good to develop and grow, as I've mentioned, but we also need to focus on our strengths and our assets. So those three words could be anything, could be strong, powerful, connected, or whatever, whatever has come to you. And that be can become a mantra when you're feeling a little bit off course or uh, feeling you've had a bad day and um, doubting yourself a little. You can go back to what you know the truth is and who you really are. And as I've mentioned, this is this new, new world 
where alone we can be very powerful, but by combining our talents, we're actually unstoppable. And we're all here to contribute to the universe, which can be seen as the sympathy, uh, as the symphony of life. We all have our part to play. Hmm. What's happened to the rest of the presentation? All right, well, um, I had a few more things to share with you, but as I said, we had a tech problem prior to this. This is taking a little bit of time to download. Maybe it's the internet. Yeah, so, oh, yeah, here we go. Yeah, I think it's just the internet. Yeah, because as I said, we just had to do it a little bit differently. So what Blissbot has developed, and we actually are launching it today. I spoke to um, Jenna about this six months ago, and we plan to launch it today at this particular event. It's a women's quiz. Um, I'll, in a moment after, after the presentation, I'll pop the link in the chat, or you can um, take a screenshot here of the QR code. Uh, it's a quiz to determine, it's really all about self-awareness, to determine how powerful are you. And you get a 16-page uh, booklet at the end, it might be a 10 or 16-page booklet, which shows you what your strengths are and maybe where you might be stuck and suggestions on ways to move forward. It's just a bit of fun. It's um, beautifully put together. And so please feel free to take a look at that. And it's totally free and it's there just to support you on your journey and give you those insights. Another um, offering that we have is we have developed programs to help people through areas in their life that they're stuck to get them to work out what their biggest challenge is and then to give them support for 28 days. I don't know if anybody's familiar with Duolingo, which is the app that helps people with languages by giving you short, um, quick things to do every day that boost your learning. Well, that's what uh, this program is designed to do. So if you choose, if you've got one of these issues here that you're struggling with or you feel stuck on, you just um, select it. And then uh, for the next 28 days, you'll be given very um, short pieces of education, uh, a meditation, and also even a short little exercise program because that really boosts your endorphins and get you going for the day and then at the end of the every day you'll get an sms with a meditation helping you to sleep because we know a lot of people in the world um, suffer from insomnia or not being able to sleep so all programs have a sleep component because when we wake up feeling refreshed we are so much better uh, to be the person that we want to be for the coming day so this is our new programs they're just being released next week it's uh, hot off the press uh, if you want to get involved please um, scan the qr code and you can join the wait list uh, and then you can be part of it when they're launched next week the all programs are guaranteed to make you feel better in seven days uh, they you can try them for free for seven days and they're designed to give you maximum result with the minimal amount of effort because everybody's busy and time poor these days. You get ta tailored support for 28 days and you get those personal um, steps sent to you every morning and night. So we've tried to make it as easy as possible. And you also get unlimited access to over um, $10,000 worth of courses, podcasts and meditations which are on our site. So you get all course access to that as well. So now we're up to question time. Um, I'd love to connect with anybody on LinkedIn. So please feel free to join with me there. You can, if you don't get a chance to ask questions today or you'd like to do it more privately, please feel free to reach out via email. So that's the end of the formal part of the presentation. Okay. Thanks so much, Deborah. Um, if anyone has any questions, please feel free to drop them in the chat. Otherwise, um, yeah, what, um, you're more than welcome to reach out to Deborah via LinkedIn. Thank you so much for that kind offer. Of 
Oh, yes. a link to the quiz. Yes, I will do that. I um, Yes, I'll get that for you right now. So the top one is the link to the quiz and then I also put in the uh, wait list there. So you've got the both. That's fine. Well, thank you so much for your time, Deborah. You're most welcome. And uh, like I say, really happy to follow up with anybody if they've got any questions as we go on. Um, somebody's oh, yeah. asking a question about LinkedIn profiles on the chat if people want to connect. Oh, absolutely. Go for it. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, so you're all very welcome um, and it's been really nice to be here today. Mm. Some lovely feedback there for you too. Yeah, beautiful feedback. Thank you so much. Yeah, I, it's just so good, I think, that... Um, International Women's Day is really uh, just grown and expanded so much and we're really actually talking about real topics and things that's needed. Absolutely. Thank you, everyone. It was a real pleasure. I love um, sharing this work. Uh, yes, yeah, so Tess, look, Tess has asked, um, about the career job crisis management. So if you just put your name on the wait list when that's launched, that will be launched next week. And for every 28, for the next 28 days, you'll be given information to help you find your true purpose. Um, it will be some skills that will help you in the workplace. It's everything around your career. It's a very comprehensive program um, that's brought to you by leading global experts such as Holly Pitakar, she does uh, Live Your Purpose from the UK. And anyway, we've got probably about 10 or uh, ex different experts that contribute to that program, including beautiful meditations and lots of support. Oh, so people are having problems with the internet. Is that right? Oh, people want me to send the link again. I'll just do that now. So, so sorry if you had issues. I will send the link again now. Thank you for that feedback because it's hard to know, isn't it? Uh, I'll just do it now. And somebody's asked if there can be a follow-up email as well. Yeah, we will definitely send out an email with all the links as well, as well as a link to the recording if you'd like to watch back. Just send. So I'm putting the quiz one in here right now. I'll do them separately as well because that's less confusing and then if anybody's interested in the 28 day programs uh, which will be live next week uh, there's some beautiful work on energy if you're feeling like you've got low energy we've got a lot of uh, a beautiful program coming on how to boost your energy with some beautiful qigong exercises uh, Rachel Adams from the States um, is, does a beautiful training on mastering your energy so there's a lot of resources there in those programs you can just try it for seven days and if you don't if it's not working for you you can um stop no questions asked so definitely try it before you buy oh oh that's terrible about the internet oh people were saying they couldn't hear most of it oh, i'm very sorry about that it's so hard isn't it we live in the center of sydney and yet um in this modern day and age sometimes technology doesn't um perform in the way it should. So I've just sent those.
perhaps um, links through again. Can people just give me a thumbs up or something in the chat to say if they've got them or they've received them? Oh, in Melbourne, it's been fine. <laughs> That's good. I'm glad. I'm glad. Thank you for that feedback, Laura. Yeah. And you've got the links. That's good. That's good. Thank you, Sonia. Thank you for letting me know. I really appreciate it. That's the thing about doing online events. It's so fantastic because we can be here from all over various locations, but sometimes it's harder to get that direct feedback. So I appreciate it. Oh, oh yeah. Okay. Well, hopefully the recording will be all right. And please follow up with me. I've left my um, email there too, if I can help in any way or answer various questions because the internet was difficult. Uh, so I'm just reading something here from Tess. What is that? Yes, that's right. Yes. Yes, well, it's interesting you'd say that because with Bliss Spot we do, we've just started these challenges, but as part of the program, we wanted to give every tenth one to a woman in need. So actually, Tess, I'm so pleased you brought that up today. That was our... That was our mandate because we've got to walk our talk. We can't go, oh, we're going to do business uh, differently and just being a woman is not enough. Like you've got to actually walk your talk. So every 10th one we sell, we want to give away um, because there's so much support in those challenges that we can give people. We want to give it away to a person in need. We haven't actually set that up yet because this is so brand new. We're just launching it next week. But um, I'd even be happy to... Uh, yeah, talk to you more about it or follow it up. But that's definitely in our plans to do that because we can't, and we, we can give the every 10th one away starting from next week when we start to get the challenges out there. We don't need to wait for that. But certainly refugees, I mean, that is just massive. That's a massive thing for a person to go through or domestic violence. Yes, definitely here to support and get people back on their feet and, yeah, engaging in the world in the way that, I mean, should be a, a natural way for people to be able to live. And it's not right now, so we need to do the work until it is so people don't have to live in fear or to be displaced in that way. Yeah, well, that's great. Well, I think um, thank you for that beautiful positive feedback. I love working with the Work 180 community because you're so engaged and passionate and focused on making a positive difference in the world not even focused on it but you actually do it you, you're doing it so it's an incredible community so I was honored and delighted to be asked to speak with you today yeah I'm glad thank you Tess I'm glad you brought that up because I got to talk about that because that's when we're talking about women doing things differently I think we know we need to make profit because we have to survive and we have to go forward that is important but we don't you know we we've got profit to do good things with as well. So that's fantastic. Yeah, beautiful. Great. Well, shall we, shall we end it there and then um, we'll send out the recording for everyone? That would be beautiful. Yeah. Yes. So much, um, It's really great. Very inspiring. Absolute pleasure, Lauren. Um, lovely, lovely being here today. Excellent. And thank you, everyone. Well, uh, look out for the email with the links and also the recording. And apologies for anyone that experienced any um, technical difficulties with the internet. We'll make sure we um, run these sessions maybe in Zoom next time so we don't, <laughs> we can avoid some of these problems. <laughs> but thank you very much. Thanks, everyone. Thank you.